In this lesson, we're going to go over the project folder structure as it exists on our drive and the computer. There may be instances where we need to be aware of this, for example, if we're returning in code in an academic setting, or if we were going to copy some of the files and use them in a different project at some point. So I just want to take a quick look at that outside of the Eclipse IDE. But you'll note that the Eclipse IDE does set up our source folder and has different packages with the files underneath them. Now when we go to our physical drive location, we'll note that we have our project name, and inside of there we have a settings folder, which will allow us to see some preferences as they're set for that project. Our binary folder, or bin folder, which contains the compiled classes. After we've run the code, so you'll see these are dot class files. So those are the actual executables. And inside of our folders here, then we have our source. Now I just want to also note, if you did select to not include folder structure for the specific source files, you may not see a bin in source. You may see all of your files directly here. So because I did select to use those specific folders, you'll see that it does, in fact, segregate our code files into their own specific folders, which is very nice, especially if we just need to manage where our source files are or where our class files are. And you'll see that each package creates its own folder. Here we have GUI, Program, and Utilities. And of course, the direct source file will be in the appropriate package folder. So as we continue to add more classes to our packages and more classes to our project, you'll see this folder directory structure continue to expand as expected. And that wraps up our quick look at the actual physical directory structure of how our projects are stored as we're using them and building them in our Eclipse IDE.